I'm Sneha and you are watching my channel Book Junction. Welcome to today's video. So this is quite a highly requested video. A lot of you guys requested me to make a video on my YouTube journey and I thought that it's quite a good time to make this video. I know that a lot of you guys are into video creation as well and maybe you are new into this YouTube world and you may have a lot of questions. I can share a lot of information that may be useful for you. So this is the video for you. So in this video, I will share with you how how I started my channel that is what was my thought process behind starting this channel and when did I actually get serious how and when did I procure equipments for my videos and when did my channel get monetized and when I got my first payment so a lot of that information you will find in this video I feel like this is going to be a pretty wholesome video so yeah i will make sure that i provide all the timestamps in the description box so if you are interested only in one part of the video you can quickly get to that part however personally i feel like it will be a good thing to watch the whole video so that you get the entire information however it's up to you so yeah now without any further delay let's jump into the video and let's talk about my journey so if you guys don't know i started my channel in 2017 my first video went up in november 2017 and yeah it's been a long time however most of my growth has happened in the past one year in 2020 my channel actually grew before that it was just there i used to post videos but nothing really happened so yes it may seem like in so many years i've only reached to 33,000 subscribers but most of these subscribers have come in this last one year so i think that makes it important i think that's the main point so i started my channel pretty randomly there was not a lot of thought that went behind it i just randomly put my camera on i remember that i placed it on my dressing table and then just sat and recorded the video i didn't even make the video horizontal it was like a vertical video you can watch it that's my first video and it's still up on my channel so i mean that was me i was completely new to this i had no idea anything whatsoever so that's how i started and i used to post once in a while like whenever i used to feel like plus i was not really um, in a good mental space as well i was in my college and i was not really happy with my college and what i was doing i felt like i was stuck and i didn't know i didn't have any direction in my life i wanted to do something creative i was into writing and i just wanted to do something out of the box i didn't want to get into a job and that's why i was really frustrated with what i was doing back then so youtube just came as something as a hobby and that too i was not really involved in much so i used to post maybe once in two or three months and my videos used to be honestly abysmal i don't like them i would just place the camera somehow and start recording without thinking about anything so that was my mindset back then in fact when i started my channel for almost a year i didn't even tell my friends my close best friends that i have a channel that's how secret it was and i just wanted it to be like that i think i had 14 subscribers overall uh, including my parents and yeah those were the first 14 subscribers i don't know if they still watch my videos or not so they subscribed and uh, yeah for one year i had 14 subscribers then i made this video on the book latitudes of longing by shubhangi swaroop which was an amazing book by the way and that a video got a little bit of traction like i saw that quite a lot of people were watching it i mean back then a lot meant double figures you know not like five or four views but more than that so i thought yeah it's it's working and because of that video i also got a lot of subscribers when i say a lot i mean i got subscribers that uh, like around 70 to 75 subscribers i got from that one video so that made me like really hopeful i feel like that moment was the time when i thought that okay this can be something and i should put in more effort that's that was the moment when i actually decided to put in more of effort and uh, like just be more involved after that i also told my friends and uh, they helped me reach 100 subscribers so after one year more than one year i finally reached 100 subscribers with the help of some of my friends but most of my initial subscribers were random people they were not my friends 
um i think that was also a good point for me because when you start your new channel you share it with your friends and if you have a big network then a lot of people are going to subscribe to you and maybe they will watch your first two or three videos as well and you will get a good boost from them so you know maybe you will reach your first 100 or maybe 500 subscribers really easily because your friends family and friends of friends will subscribe and they will watch your first few videos but what happens is that after that they will lose interest maybe if they're not really interested in your content because your audience has not found you yet your friends and relatives and friends of friends may have very different interests so uh, maybe they subscribed you initially but after one or two videos they are not any more interested right so they're not going to watch your videos your video retention will go down you will not get new subscribers because the first few subscribers that you got were your friends so you may get demotivated and uh, maybe you will also quit it which was not the case for me because for the longest uh, whatever little subscribers i got were random people and i had very few friends and even today i don't have a lot of friends so even after telling my friends um, i think i got 10 or 12 new subscribers because of which i reached that 100 uh, subscribers mark so i think that was the time when i thought that no i need to give in more effort and that's what i did i kept posting videos every week sometimes two or three videos every week so of course my growth was really slow but i kept making videos some of my book reviews got good views and i tried different kind of videos i used to think that okay what can i do next that will help me grow and i would post a video maybe that video didn't get a lot of views but i would not fixate on that i would just continue to look forward what is the next thing that i can do how can i make it more interesting and back then i didn't have a camera i had my moto e4 plus uh, mobile phone and i used to shoot with the front camera of that phone which was not really ideal and i used to edit the videos with power director so that was all and i used a mic which was like a very cheap mic but it worked and uh, for i didn't even have a tripod for a really long time but after that uh, my dad had a tripod and he give, gave it to me so i started using that so you know your first few months are going to be all about how you use the things that you already have so yes i kept making videos kept posting them and finally on 21st september 2019 my channel reached the thousand subscribers mark which was like epic for me because i thought that it's such a big milestone i might never reach there that's what i felt at times but i just kept going so yes 21st september 2019 i'm looking at this diary where i've written all the dates because that's just the person i am and on 21st may 2020 i completed 4000 hours of watch time so that's when uh, i knew that okay finally my channel will get mo monetized and my channel got monetized on 26th may 2020 yes finally it got monetized and i was i was on cloud nine it felt so good because you work so hard and finally when it happens it just feels surreal now it's important to talk about my camera that has played an important role in my journey so i got my camera in february 2020 and after that i made a lot of different kinds of videos because it was possible for me since with a camera you can do so many things so after getting the camera i just tried making all different kinds of videos that were interesting to me and everything that i had like whatever little knowledge i had about things i shared in aesthetic ways and in ways that would be interesting so those different kinds of videos really helped my channel gain the traction because when people come to your channel through a video they look at all the other videos if they think that they are interesting they will subscribe otherwise they will go away so i think those videos helped me because they realized that I'm not only sharing the reviews and the book hauls but I'm also sharing the knowledge that I get from those books in different kinds of videos so maybe that made them subscribe and uh, those videos really helped me a lot and I feel like quality definitely matters on August 11th 2020 I reached 5,000 subscribers on 26th October 2020 I completed 10,000 subscribers and uh, honestly it was it was epic it felt so good so um, on 21st September 2019 I was at 
1k subscribers and on 26th october 2020 i reached 10k subscribers so this was my growth and i think it was pretty amazing now let's talk a little bit about when i got my payment so as i told you that my channel got monetized on 26th may 2020 and i first received my payment email from google adsense on 22nd november 2020 so google adsense pays you on 21st uh, of the month and uh, by 22nd you get the email so that's when i received the email but when you receive your first youtube income payment whatsoever it takes some time for it to get credited in your account because it's the first time an international payment is coming to your account although i did receive um, another international payment before also because for a brand promotion but um, this was the first time it came through like a bank transfer so maybe that's why so they you have to fill some forms and it's quite a lengthy process you have to talk to the branch manager so that's what i did so i received the mail on 22nd november that's when the google adsense paid me but um, it came into the overseas branch of the bank but it took a lot of time for it to get credited so on 7th december i got the payment that is the amount got credited in my account and it was a surreal experience it was definitely a long time if you don't know you only get paid when you reach 100 dollars a month so when you reach 100 dollars that's when you get paid so if you have reached 50 dollars in january and another 50 dollars in february so you will get the payment in march so that's how it works so if uh, so i think it took me a lot of time to <laughs> reach that 100 dollars um payment threshold and of course it was not only 100 dollars more than that i cannot reveal i guess because it's not allowed so i'm not going to do that but yeah it was more than 100 dollars but uh, less than 200 dollars <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm going to say so people have this conception that if your channel get monetized you will like become rich and you will get a lot of money no that's that doesn't really happen of course your revenue depends on your views and uh, yeah and it also depends on the niche that you are in like fashion and finance videos they do really well and their views are more lucrative whereas i think educational videos are good as well i don't really know it the exact thing but yeah so that has been pretty much my journey i feel right now i'm at a place where i'm transitioning so you get these phases where you're just going up and up and then there comes a stagnancy period where you transition into another phase that where you go up so i feel like i'm at that transitioning phase i saw that growth right now i'm trying to figure out what i need to do next and um just make my channel grow even further to scale up and then i will again see that phase of scaling up so yeah i'm really excited to reach the 100k subscribers mark i don't know when that will happen i will be really happy if it happens in this year itself there are a lot of other topics as well like for example brand promotion and all of that which i can definitely cover in another video because this video seems to be getting really long i can see that i have blabbered for a really long time let me know what are your other questions regarding youtube or anything as such i can definitely make another video and we can do this story time again maybe if i see that you guys have watched this video because definitely it depends on the views if the views are good of course i will be motivated to make more such videos if the views are not that great then i will refrain so let me know what you want and um yeah i will see you in my next video all right so that will be all for today's video if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then definitely consider subscribing hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get all the notifications let me know in the comment section what are the other kind of videos you would like to watch and i'll see you in my next video until then bye bye